So we got a Max Force engine and a 2012 International bus, and we get an intermittent warning engine. And as you can see, we got injector five closed coils. So we're going to start by running a standard test. Uh, engine coolant temp has to be at a certain temperature before you can start this test. So after we run our standard test. We're going to uh, cylinder cutout tests. Um, you're going to do the non warranty test only, and you're going to check each injector. So you click two and listen for a change. And you can hear the audible change. Go back to normal. We'll check three. Heard the change. And we got a code for cylinder five, so that's probably going to be the one. But I've already checked one, so probably it's got a bit of a change. So after our running our cylinder cutout test to uh, test the injectors, we didn't really get much information from that. Uh, I pulled the doghouse off, all the bolts are out of the valve cover, and we're going to pull the valve cover and we're going to do some further diag, check the wiring harness, check resistance in the injectors. Um, I actually already ordered an injector because we're going to replace it, like 90% sure that's the problem. And while we're in there, we're going to change the ICP sensor as well because it had a uh, previously stored code for that. So while we're there, we'll change it. One thing to take note of on these Max Forces is the wiring harness is a part of the valve cover gasket. So when you're taking this apart, be gentle. You don't want to break any of the wires. They are pretty expensive. So we're just going to get your valve cover off. Unplug all these little plugs. Your uh, ICP sensor down there needs to be unplugged too. Then you got these little plastic tabs. You're just gonna they hook over the edge of this. Just pull them out. This will flip up. And you're gonna take these 10 millimeter bolts out. And you're gonna pull this rail up to get to the uh, injectors. So when you're pulling your injectors out, there's a torque bolt right there and it's like a little horseshoe collar. You're gonna loosen that torque. As you're taking it out, you're gonna watch the injector lift up. It's gonna pop right out, pull it out. And then when you set your new one in, make sure you orientate it the same way the old one came out. Put that uh, a horseshoe bracket thing in the collar of the injector and uh, screw it down and make sure that the um, injector is seated right and then reverse the process of taking it apart.